And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Lucian, our first of three more donation decks today. Have had a ton of donation decks with this new format. You can really kind of do anything and it's pretty awesome. And that's what we're going to be doing. So this one is we're going back over to Demacia and the Grand Plaza and combining Katarina with the Grand Plaza again. But this time with Lucian instead of Riven, Lucian has been really impressive in this format with the Grand Plaza. Um, sometimes with Shadow Isles, but even with uh, Noxus as well. It just looks like an awesome combination. That quick attack, giving it plus one, plus one at Challenger, all that kind of stuff. Also being able to play a whole bunch of units. With the Grand, Grand Plaza is good. It's good for uh, Lucian leveling up. Lucian's just a great card. <laughs> and so we'll have our Lucian, we'll have our Senna, um, and a whole bunch of awesome units. So Grand Plaza is going to be an important one. We're going to be looking for that one. Um, but when we do have the Grand Plaza, even like our top end, are like they are incredible. Grizzled Ranger, Great Horn Companion. These things having, getting plus one, plus one in Challenger are amazing. Of course, Genevieve Elmhart, always great. Um, and then we'll get extra attacks like we don't have a, a great late game We don't have like a ton of card draw or anything like that But Katarina is our late game card. It shows it's a three mana card But really it's gonna be like our six seven eight nine mana card that we're gonna be playing in the late game uh, leveling up and getting lots of attacks so it should work out pretty well our spells are three sharp sight one relentless pursuit and that's all we need. So let's get, let's get to it. So we're going to go play our five games in ranked. Here we go. Riven Swain with PNZ. That's an interesting combination. Looks pretty cool. So I don't have... I don't have a Grand Plaza in hand. I'm going to mulligan a one drop. We're going to keep a one and then keep Senna with Sharp Sight. Which one drop do we want to mulligan? I guess it's going to be Tracker. Just the one health against PNZ. I don't know. Actually here. Maybe it should have been Cythria. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm not really planning... On spending this two mana, I'm planning on banking this two mana for the sharp sight. Okay, that makes sense, Cabo. Send it, send it early, and then make it two minutes. Makes sense. Making the dead deader. Where's our Grand Plaza? Okay, tracker. My shield is yours. Do your thing. All right, down to eleven. To serve the greater good. Yeah, do you want German potato? Do you want your donation deck on? Do you want it first? You want the, you do you want it the first slot on Friday? Just pass turn. That's it. Yeah, it's never just it. Okay, I'll write you down for first. 
All right, let's... We're sending them all in, obviously. It's just kind of which one do we want to challenge. I guess I challenge Swain. I... No, I'm going to challenge here. I'm going to challenge Riven. Okay. I guess that will do. I guess that will do. No, there's, there's just the one landmark tutor in the game, which is in Targon. That's the only one that's a draw a landmark card. As far as I... Yeah, I'm like almost completely positive. But Victor Heimer with Targon. Okay. Mulligan, Mulligan, Mulligan. We're gonna do that. Because I, I really want to look for the Grand Plaza, and so we'll, we'll keep a one-mana card because we have the attack token on turn one, but besides that, the other things weren't that valuable. Now, obviously, I don't love this hand. Um, I like the cards that I mulliganed kind of more, just, like, curve consideration-wise, but... Witness perfection, meatbags. Still think it was worth mulliganing them looking for the Grand Plaza. And there is the Grand Plaza. Um, charge? Hmm. So, so Katarina's Blade's Edge could finish that out. Cool. Maybe they just play Victor right here, and then I can go... Okay, so it's not going to be Victor. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. If they, you know, I don't want to play Katarina right there. Maybe I should still just be playing the Katarina, but no comment. Ooh. So I think that worked out with um with not having the Katarina yet. We basically had the you know the Mystic Shot took out the one drop instead of the Senna, and then the Thermogenic Beam took out the Senna instead of taking out something better. So far I think we've done pretty good against the removal with how we've played slower. But now are we going with the reindeer? And challenging with that, or now do we throw out the Katarina? I guess. I guess we still have a good amount of top end. I think I could, we can now throw out the Katarina. Even though the Katarina is probably going to die to whatever removal spell. I'll do my best. Okay, it doesn't. It goes back to my hand. That's cool. No one gets in my way. Answers. I have them. I don't know if there's too much difference doing the one damage either way. Yes, yes, again. This is a pretty awkward hand. <laughs> this full house. Yeah, Genevieve would have protected that Cythria. Okay, awesome. Oh, 
come on, really? I just want, you know, like a one or two mana unit. These last couple of turns. Really, another Katarina? Triple Genevieve, triple Katarina. We have double three of a kind. There's no way they beat our hand. So it's the middle Katarina is the one they know about. Once I said papers, now faces. Our goals are greater than petty violence. That's the one they know about. Metal is perfection. Analyzing a problem. Victor and the bots are so noisy. been great to have you house spider like three turns ago you would have been incredible back when we had that grand plaza and i was just wasting mana I guess I can maybe attack again. I guess I can see what's up. Maybe that's not worth it. Because if they if I they block the 3-3 three, three, and then they like Mystic Shot or Thermogenic Beam the 2-2, two, two, then I don't have a blocker and they hit me for 5. That, that could be a problem. Try to kill that victor. I hope they just created the 15 mana card Skies Descend. I hope that's what they just created with that flash of brilliance. Well, no, I guess it wasn't Skies Descend. We must we must so turn my Genevieve into a house spider. going to be playing the Genevieve and challenging the victor. I guess it's Katarina. Quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Genius in action. No materials, no improvements. These woods belong to us. Life steal's pretty sweet. Sweet. Ah, the 
Yeah, this has worked out pretty well for them. Of course, having having multiple of your champions is always good. We've taken out one Victor, one Heimerdinger. We just had too awkward of a hand to start with. A, B, they had the two copies of both of their champions, and then C. And then see they, you know, found a removal spell for my landmark. So they kind of needed all three of those things to go their way, and they did. That's why. Yeah, our, our early turns were pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, we got Grand Plaza. We got a Reindeer. That's going to be a good combination, but maybe I mulligan them just to look for cheaper cards. I think I will. We saw what happened, you know, like that last game, right? Like <laughs> with uh, just having three Genevieve, three Katarina. That was pretty awkward, so we're gonna, you know, kind of mulligan five mana cards. I guess maybe I should have played the House Spider. House Spider's just so great with the Grand Plaza. Devotion to battle. This is kind of awkward. I'm just chilling with Lucian. So are we going Grizzled Ranger or House Spider? Maybe we can get another two drop or something? Nope. So I go Grizzled Ranger. They go Hush on Grizzled Ranger. We kind of lose. It's still the best play. It's still better than just playing a house spider, though. Time to get rowdy. So I could pass the turn, make them waste seven mana, not let them, like, play, you know, like, Taric or Riven, like, afterwards. It's still probably not worth it. Yeah, there's the hush, though. Yeah, they had Tarek. Okay, well, that was the punish. That was the best possible. Hush plus Tarek. I guess I should have passed turn. That was the best possible. Yeah, that was the best possible. It's just so difficult to pass turn in that in that spot, but that was the thing to do. Well, good game. That was frustrating. I knew I knew what I should have done. I knew I should have just passed with Grizzled Ranger. So I didn't use the sharp side. I was kind of expecting my opponents to do something. Um, and then I'd use sharp side afterwards. But. This is the mountain's final test. 
He has Overwhelm. That was a frustrating game. I'm really frustrated by how I played into that hush, Tarek. Okay, Garen and Ash. I don't like my chances against an Ash deck, because our deck is all about combat, and so Frostbite cards blow us up pretty bad. Um, I know I have the attack token turn one with the Scythria, but I kind of want to look for this Grand Plaza. No, I guess I should keep it. Okay, second Lucian could be a Relentless Pursuit, so that could be pretty nice. New recruit reporting in. Um, charge? Push back to darkness. That's just not a good play I'm, I'm by them. It's really not. When you're doing this, if, if that's your plan with the Ice Veil Archer, you should always frostbite the bad... Like, they frostbite my good card, Lucian. You should frostbite the bad card. If they would have frostbitten the 2-2 two -two and then attacked, well, I can't block with Lucian, so they would have just got 4 damage in. But they frostbit the Lucian, so I could just trade with my 2-2. Two -two. So in that case, you want you would you would be very happy if your Ice Veil Archer traded with a Lucian. So you should frostbite the other thing and, and attack into the Lucian. These stories were true. All right, let's mess some folks up. Hmm. Alright, so that's two for Lucian. I know I could throw away Senna, but I don't necessarily want to do that. So that crying face and saving eight mana is kind of telling me judgment. I'm basically thinking, like, do I attack with the Senna or not? Let's pass. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. So I have the three spell mana for the Relentless Pursuit. Makes more sense. Okay, final answer. Chance to run. My life forever, Rosa. 
Okay, so the house spider dies in this scenario. Ah, uh, the senate dies too. All right, well, that didn't go perfectly with the Senna dying. Slow down, will you? My shield is yours. I'm glad there wasn't like a block frostbite. That was the one thing, you know, like block the Grizzled Ranger frostbite it during the scout attack. Yeah, they should have, they definitely should have done that. They just did it now. They should have done that during the scout attack because then I wouldn't gain an additional attack here. Okay, we're pretty even up. We each have one thing in hand. You know, we each got one thing in play and three things in hand. Pretty even up. But of course, the thing we have in play is a champion. Soldier to me. Alright, good. I don't know what kind of 2-mana Frostbite spell they'd have for a 6-5, but I'm glad they, whatever it was, they didn't have it. And we gained the attack token, and there we go. So, I guess they could, they could have Brittle Steel, right? Like, they could Brittle Steel the Lucian and block a 2-1 and then take 3. Alright, 2-2. Two two. Okay, looking at our hand. Sorry, I was waiting for the for other thing. Look at our hand against a Aurelian Soul Leona. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan this Relentless Pursuit. Relentless Pursuit is just a card, basically always a mulligan. But I like having Lucian, Senna, and a Pump Spell. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Follow the horizon. I'm not sure why they passed to me. So they were planning on waiting on that. The only reason to wait on that would be for the Grand Plaza. So my assumption is that they have the Grand Plaza. That's too bad. Speaking of the Grand Plaza, I definitely am going to need to draw that and Katarina for us to have a chance. Um, Leona really in Soul is a deck that you're not, we're not going to just be able to play stuff and attack and kill them. They are amazing at defense. And so... We're definitely going to need a Grand Plaza plus Katarina. There's a start. Is a start. I don't even like that. Back heretic. Have faith. So yeah, they had the Grand Plaza in hand, that's why they waited on their one mana card. Daylight, everlasting. Devotion to 
Definitely want to play the stuff um, during our attack turn. Our sun will not set today. I'm what nightmares fear. My shield is yours. I was scared of Hush. I was scared of using Sharp Sight on the Senna and they play Hush. That's what I was scared of. What once was two, now is one. I, don't, I don't understand how this Leona really in Soul Deck ever loses. I, <laughs> I, I can't ever beat it with anything. That's for sure. Glows. I will, I'll never beat this deck. Not really sure how other people beat it. We'll have to we'll play this on yeah, so they had hush. We'll play this on Sunday for rank up Sunday, this Leona really in soul. Cause I I just don't ever see I don't I don't see how it ever loses. Go with the Grizzled Ranger. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Here we go. Because yeah, the, basically this deck just plays such amazing defense and has such big units, but then. Then it also has the best late game with a really in soul, and then it also has the best interaction with um, sharp sight, single combat. Is the one true light. Um, you know, sharp sight, single combat, and hush. So it has it has like the best interaction in the game. It has larger units than anybody else. It has the grand plaza with all these challengers, which is incredible. And then it has the best possible late game with a really in soul. And I I never beat this deck with anything that I play. I'm not sure what decks people play that have success in this matchup. Like, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know how you beat eight eight Fury Challengers or anything. And you try to make something big and they just hush it. You try to play elusives and they just sharp sight or single combat with like this life steal. I have to look at like mobile edicts and see like what if anything has a good matchup against this. The yes, the mushroom gets erased if it's on a card. If the card gets tossed that has mushrooms, the mushrooms just get erased. They do not move. They still have four times as many cards in hand than I do. My strength is yours. Hello, Rune Terra. Let's rock. GG's. That's that deck. Targon just makes bigger units. Like, those Daybreak things are huge. So they have bigger units. They always have more cards with, with better card advantage. They also have amazing removal. 
with single combat and grand plaza in there. Um, and then if you try if you try anything cool, they'll just hush it. So I don't I don't really know. <laughs> I, I don't know how that deck loses. Um, I really don't. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah. If, those are all on YouTube. If you if you know how that deck loses, let me know. I I I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but of course, I haven't I haven't like really played that deck myself. So I'll have to try playing that deck on Sunday for rank up Sunday, and you know we'll see how we how uh, how it looks on our hands. But whenever I play against it, like that, my my last opponent just played turn nine Aurelian Soul, and that's been like one of the latest Aurelian Souls I've seen in a long time. It's usually uh, turn eight Aurelian Soul with um, turn turn seven Eclipse Dragon. At least that's that's been my experience playing against it. Maybe maybe all my opponents just have amazing hands. I don't know, but um, our deck is okay. I think what our deck's really missing is just interaction and, and just spells. I think that that three like Sharp Sight's cool. It's really good, but I think that three Sharp Sight is not enough. And then, you know we have a Relentless Pursuit, but that's not even an interaction spell. So we we struggled. We really struggled to use spell mana. Um, and basically, I think when we have the Grand Plaza, our deck looks really good because we have so many good units with the Grand Plaza. But if our opponent destroys the Grand Plaza or we don't draw the Grand Plaza, I don't think we would be winning too many games. I, so basically, I think that maybe we just we need we need less units. We need we need some more spells in here. We need more ways to use spell mana. And basically, and the thing about the spells is just more things during combat, right? Like we 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 were frequently like just you know having like attacking and blocking in combat my opponent would have a, a combat spell maybe like a frostbite spell or anything or they could have like their own like hush or pale cascade or troll chant or like basically the combat tricks are just awesome these days right like sharp sight great card there are a ton of great combat tricks and um we're and so if we're basically always playing against other decks that have combat tricks and that's just a, a losing proposition to try to to have a deck that's designed to uh, go into combat and be good in combat, but then also doesn't have any combat tricks where the opponents have combat tricks. That's just going to be a, a really tough ask. Um, now that can still work, of course, when you have your Grand Plaza because of how good the Grand Plaza is, and that is basically a combat trick for all of your cards with the plus one, plus one in Challenger. So it still works when we have uh, that going for us. But maybe just some other kind of cards, like maybe like some, you know, Transfusion, Single Combat, um might uh whirling death you know like all that kind of stuff or maybe like some removal for some bigger things with concerted strike you know like i think i think you kind of have to play a little bit more of a fair game and a little bit more interaction and protection and all that kind of stuff yeah so with with this style though i think i think we got to be real aggressive with this style with uh for it to work with going underneath but that's not not the easiest to pull off but i think that's what that's what we'd have to try to do here all right, but there's there's a try with Katarina Lucian. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. Let me know what you think of that Leona Aurelian Soul deck, if there's any ways to uh, uh, yeah, any ways to beat that. And if you've been playing other Katarina Lucian Grand Plaza decks, leave those comments there too. I'm real interested to see what you've been playing with this kind of combination. All right, but that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.